。嚟有啲大鑊，嚟有啲專門大鑊。Okay, so everyone, let's get started. So, how was your weekend? Uh, it was it was fine. It was fine. Okay. <laughs> so I had a tough weekend. I couldn't get sleep. I lost my sleep on Friday. What happened? Okay. Um, have you got any tissue? I don't think so. Oh, you didn't Thank you. So this is wet tower. Alright, so now today we are going to finish our last lesson. It's the building design, okay? So we're going to talk about different buildings, alright? Now let's look at some pictures. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to pair you into two groups, you two and you two, okay, and discuss the buildings, tell me which one you like the most and which one you dislike the most. Okay, now you two and you two, please. Okay. The buildings? <laughs> It looks like uh, very fashionable, and uh, and really don't like the strawberry one because I think it, because of the shape, yeah, I don't like any strawberry. I think it's the most most awful food in the world, and I also don't like the strawberry shape. So uh, strawberry, strawberry shape, uh, shape the building. Uh, mm. Yes. I don't like any one of them. Why? Yeah, why? Mm -hmm. They're so. Okay, and you? But uh, the like guitar the is okay. Like it's like a normal red thing, but okay. the other ones are um, like. He very huge and mm -hmm. it's like a <laughs> design. Um, and I think the that's what I'm the okay. first building like hey, looks what, like what very weird. Like what do you dislike the most? What do you dislike the most? I I think when people uh, see this building is. When people see this building, they yeah. they, they will not think this is a very person. One. It looks like just uh Why? just few yeah. people standing there yeah. and uh, yeah, I don't think it's really no, no, pretty. Maybe the red one. Okay. Yeah. Alright, great. So now I'm going to hear some of your opinions. Okay, so Lorenzo, which one you like the most? I would say uh the guitar building. Mm -hmm. Why? Like um, because I think that this building is very, uh, very creative. Like um, they can it it uh, express uh, express some ideas like mm -hmm. uh, music. And when you first see this building, you uh, you will know this building may like uh, for some big fan of music, and they will like go to, they will like go to this building. Mm -hmm. And I really don't like this strawberry one. Cause you don't you don't like strawberry one? Why? Yes. Cause I don't like eating strawberry. I think it's the most awful food in the world, and the, the shape like looks looks like very normal. Mm. It's like like a circle. I, I don't like this one. Okay. Okay. So it's very cute and it's a little bit funny, right? Okay. Good. So now there are different buildings on your handout here. Okay. They are in picture one to six. Okay. On page ninety-seven. Okay, and you can see there are some descriptions here from A to F. Okay, first let's read all the descriptions together. Okay, A, is there an escalator? Want to begin? Is there, is there an, escalator an escalator going up the side of the building? B, it's found and the roof an incredible color and shape. It really stands out. C. It's a very modern block, but it looks like it's falling down. D. Wow, musical instrument. It is so unusual, particularly the part that's made of glass. E. The pyramid shape 
fixing well with the surroundings. F is impressive, but where are the windows? Lovely, okay? You are going to match the descriptions A to F with the pictures here, okay? All right, now do it by yourself, okay? You have two minutes. Try to guess the words and do not use your dictionary, okay? Please compare answers with your partners, please. You two and you two. Have you got the same answer? <coughs> so I think the number one is is dumb. Yes, and uh, number two is C, and number three is F, and number four is B, and number five is. And number six is E. And I think yes, B should be matched. I think the first one is very obvious. Six. Because it uh, says music mm -hmm. instrument, so oh. yeah, one is so uh, definitely D. And the uh, uh, C because it says the building is falling down. Mm -hmm. So. And uh, the D is like the pyramid. Is a pyramid. Uh, shape. <coughs> it says an uh, escalator going up the side of the building. Okay, so says, three, two, one. Oh. Alright, so Carl, will you come to the board? Carl, will you come to the board and write down your answer? Thank you very much. So D, C, F, A, E, B, do you all agree? Yes. Or different opinions? No. Okay, now let's look at the first one. Picture one, you choose D, right? Okay, so musical instruments, what, what's, can you give me an example of guitar, musical? Guitar, piano. Okay, very good. Guitar and pianos, right? Good, very good. Okay, and number two, C. Very modern block, but it looks like it's falling down. What's the meaning of falling down? Yeah, clamor. Clamor. Okay, it's going to be yeah. broken. Okay, right. Very good. Okay, so picture C, uh, uh, picture two. Very good. And picture three, F. Okay, impressive. So when something is impressive, it's really, uh, is it amazing or surprise? Surprising. Impressive. Is it very big? When something is impressive, I think it is it very big? No, I think it's like unforgettable. Yes, unforgettable, and normally it's very big, right? Very huge. Okay, very good. Unforgettable. Okay, and four 
it, there's an escalator. Very good. So now let's look at the picture here. Oh, sorry. But anyway, I think you can get it. Okay. So this one and this one. Which one is an escalator? Number one. Number one or number two? Number one. Number one. Okay, very good. So this one, you have steps, right? Okay. Now let's read read it together. Escalator. 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 So what's this? Elevator. Elevator. Okay, can you spell that for me? Elevator. E L E V A T O R. Okay, so is it American English or British English? British. Okay, this British. is American English. Okay, we have another word which has the same meaning. Very good. Wow. Very That's good. Smart. Very good. You improve a lot. Yeah, you improve a lot. You have the word list, right? Very good. So <laughs> <laughs> Can you spell that for me? Lift. Uh, L I F T. Very good. Thank you for your effort. Okay. Okay, this one is British English. Okay, we have to lift. 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 Elevator. Elevator. Very good. And escalator. 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 Good, good. Very good. Okay, now let's move to number five. So number five, uh, you choose E. The pyramid shape. What's the meaning of pyramid? Pyramid. Okay, where can you see where can you see the pyramid? Uh, in China. In China? China. In China. Egypt. Uh, in Egypt, very good. In Egypt. So this one is pyramid, right? So how can you say it in Chinese? Very good, very good. Okay, it's like a triangle, right? Okay, good. Okay, the pyramid shape fits in well with. Fits in well with. So when something it fits in well with the surroundings, do they look good? Do they look make people feel comfortable? Yes. yes. Okay, fits in well. Well means good, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, so the last one. Okay, the last one you choose B. It's fun. And the roof's an incredible color and shape. It really stands out. Okay, stands out. So there are many children here. Sorry, <laughs> but this one. Okay, they are standing in the line. But this one stands out. So, is it different from other? Yes. Okay, yes. it's different from other. So, do you think he's good or not good when he stands out? Good. Yeah, okay, it's, it's good, special, good, okay, very good. So we have another similar word which stands out. We just change the order. Very good, so you could say outstanding. Okay, now let's read all the words together again, okay? Escalator. 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 Stands out. Stands out. Stands out. Stands out. Falling down. Falling down. Falling down. Falling down. Fitting out fitting well with. Fitting well with. Fitting well with. Fitting well with. Cool. What about the last one? Very good. Again? Is it architect or architect? Architect, right? Okay. Who are architects? What what do they do? They, they build the building. They build the building or they talk. Oh, oh, very good. Isn't this architect? Yes, they design the building. Oh. Very good. They design the building. Very good. Oh. Okay. Okay. Architects. Okay. Architects. 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 Architect. Okay, remember it's key, not chi. Okay, key. Okay, perfect. All right, so 
Okay, so now you are going to, okay, what is your color and discuss this one. You are going to guess the purpose of each building. What's the function of each building? For example, like um, this one, what do you think this building is for? For what? Music. For music, it's like a music hall or it's a museum? What do you think? It's for museum. Yeah, it's for a museum and it's also a concert hall. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are going to discuss, okay, now picture one, picture two, and picture three, you three together. Okay, and you have time to think about the picture four, picture five, and picture six. Okay, the purpose of each building. Okay, mm -hmm. you can write down here the answer. Okay, and you three, are you going to talk about picture one, two, and three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> uh, I think the purpose of the first building is to tell people and give them an uh, impression that this building is for music. And so when people look at this building, they will know uh, what, what this building what this building can do and what it's for. It is in um, art school or something. Like, I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Could you just, just guess? Yeah, I think purpose. the falling off building can make people think, um, think it's memorable, it's unforgettable, because it's really, really special. Mm -hmm. And the third one, Definitely, that is telling people about knowledge, right? Because it's yeah, it's all books and okay. So now this time you're going to walk in pairs, and this time you go with uh, Jason. Jason and you too, okay. This time you're going to talk about building four, five, and six, okay? Use your note with you, okay? Please. Four, five, six. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so <coughs> I don't really know the number four, so I can understand the meaning or the purpose of this building, but it looks like very uh, net, right? A net, uh, like, Looks very comfortable because mm. it's a uh, uh, and the number five there's a primary shape shape building I think is uh, you might want to yeah, express some uh, some some culture from like number uh, six I don't from 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 what is what is how they call it I think it's more like it's more like this like Okay, so today I've got some really good ideas from you guys. So now let's look at the ideas I get from you. So number two, you think it's an art school. Why? Who think who thinks of this Carl. idea? Carl. Carl, why do you think it's an art school? Yes. Yeah, because it looks really artist. <laughs> oh, very good. It looks very special, right? Yeah. Okay. So, any other ideas? Any other ideas? So, okay. So, actually, you see, it's in parade, right? It's in Czech Republic. It's in a small country next to Germany. Okay. So, actually, it's a um, flat. It's a flat. So, so we have another word for flat. What's Apartment, very good. Apartment, Ooh. very good. People, people will live there. So, would you like to live in there? Yep. Why? Yes. Do you see it's very dangerous? Uh, A lot of people think it's very dangerous to live in there. Yeah. I don't. I don't live in there. Why? Because, as you said, I think it's very dangerous. Like, it's really falling down, and but it looks good. I think the space is not enough. 
Okay, you say it's too small. It could be small, right? The room could be small. Very good. Okay, so number three. So everybody says uh, it's a library. Do you all agree? Yes. Yes, yes, it's true. It's a library. It's very obvious, right? Yeah. Okay, so number four. What do you think about number four? This one in Paris, France. Can you guess? You think it's a shopping mall. Good guess. And? Office building. Office building. Hmm. Probably. Office building. Okay. And? Any other guess? Okay. We, we, we will talk about that later. Okay. So number five. The one in Dubai. So somebody says it's a hotel. Do you all agree? Yeah, Do you think it's a very good hotel or just a um, very good hotel? Why? I think it's designed must spend there a lot. Why? It looks very special, like the, the highest uh, hotel in Dubai. The, mm. uh, uh, how do I say that? The Fan Chan Ah, the luxurious. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That, yes, it's true. It's you're right. It's a very, very expensive and luxurious hotel in Dubai. Okay, it looks like a pyramid, right? Yes. Okay. But I don't think the meaning is, is a little bit good. I don't think the meaning is good because it's a pyramid, you know, the pyramid is a tomb for the... Oh, yeah, yeah for, for the pharaohs, right? Oh. It's like you're living in a tomb. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so the last one. Uh, somebody says it's a small shop. Do you agree? It could be a small shop. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, if it's a shop, it's gonna be too small. So I don't think it's a shop. So what do you think? I think it's more like a small shop. Small library. <laughs> small, library. <laughs> small library. Small public library, right? right yes. Okay. Uh, yes, but it but it's small in the picture. Actually, that is because of the angle when you took the picture, right? So it is a shop, but it's not a coffee shop. It's uh it's for children's clothes. Children's clothes. Yeah, it's for children's clothes. So So it's very cute and funny, right? Okay. Good. So now we leave this one. Okay, now we have a very big picture of it. So this one is pick Pigadoon Hall. Okay, read after me. Pompidou Centre. Pompidou Centre. Pompidou Centre. Pompidou Centre. Okay, now let's look at this picture, the big and clearer picture, and think three questions. Think about three questions. So for this building, number one, did people like the building at first? Or do you think they would change their mind? after some years, okay? And number two, do you think it is easy or difficult to build a building? And the last one, why the building is designed like that? Okay, okay? For more pictures, go to your handout. Think about that, go to your handout and turn to page 98. You've got another picture here of this building, okay? So you have 30 seconds to think about these three questions. Okay, and for you, you can only answer the first first two. Okay, you can only answer the first two. Think mm -hmm. about that. You can take some notes. Okay, why? Number one, do you think people like the building at first?
Amen. Three, two, one. Now compare answers with your partners, okay? You two and you two. Did you find the answer? And you two? Yeah. It's to choose the young unknown party. But how? Okay, so maybe you are correct. <laughs> okay, so now let's ch check the answer. So number two, how the architects were chosen? Let's say, uh, Jason, what's your opinion? They are the architects, right? But how? How were they chosen? In they what way? Com more competition to design. Okay, Lorenzo, where is it? Where can you find it? Next paragraph. Next paragraph. Mm -hmm. The first sentence, right? Yes. Okay, let's read it all together. Rogers was only one to be in. Rogers was only 30 and when he and, 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 and Piano won the competition to design a new cultural center called Paris. Lovely. Very good. Then they won the competition, right? Cool. And what about the third one? It's a bit uh, difficult, right? Mm -hmm. What effect? Is it a good effect or a bad effect if in this passage? Is it good or bad? In what paragraph? In what paragraph? Next paragraph. Next, next paragraph, okay. The competition has been rubbish by the uh, critics. Why mm. it was being built, there mm. was no more work in prospect for the artist. Very good. So at the beginning, it's very bad, right? Okay, so what about, what about next? Is it change? Was it change? I think it's just a person crisis, the center which combined the National Museum of Ancient Exhibition. Right, it proved proof an <coughs> enormous <coughs> success, <coughs> right? Okay, so very bad in the beginning, but very successful later, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So, if I'm going to accept, at first they didn't get any more work, right? Uh, later, both become internationally successful and given more important architectural projects, right? Okay, very good, very good. Alright, so we read this very quickly to do a little bit um, comprehension. This is what we call scheming. Read the passage very quickly to get the basic ideas, okay? Good. Now, for when you read, there are some words you may not know, right? Okay, now let's look at these four words in italics, okay? 写体的 italics, okay? This one, outstanding. This one, dumb beat. And this one, passing presses. This one, tune, okay? You can see where these 
four words are in this article, okay? And you are going to guess the meaning about these four words in this article, okay? Maybe they are the same as the originals, maybe they are different, okay? Read it very quickly and find out the correct answer, okay? You have two minutes to finish it, okay? You just try your best to finish it. You don't have to finish them all if you can't, okay? So two minutes. First circle the words and then guess the meaning. One minute. Okay, now. It's time to work as a group, compare your answers with your partners, okay? Okay, you fall together. I can do it. I can do it. You can't. You didn't finish. How, how many have you finished? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, tell me the first one. The first one, everybody knows that. Is what? C. C, yeah, we just learned another similar word, stands out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, a down date. I'm excited. Which one? A, okay. Down means good or not good? Down, no, no, no. Not good. If you say uh, you are very good, you are very spirited, how do you say? What is the opposite of? Um, up, up, very good, upbeat, <coughs> okay? You can write it down. Upbeat means very exciting, okay? Upbeat. Okay, number three, passing, passing temporary. prices. Temporary. temporary. What's the meaning of temporary? It's very long or very short? short. It's very short, okay, very good. So the last one, change the tune. Mm. What is the original mi meaning of tune? Like your voice. Uh, yes, very, very good. High, right? Yeah, something about the voice and the music, right? Yeah. But here, is it the same? No. So which one is this? Mine. Mine, so change your tune means change your mind. mind. Good, okay. Okay, very good. Good. Okay. So now we have got more words here. One to six. Okay, we don't do it here, just do it and do it home. Please don't look at your dictionaries, okay? Okay. And now we are going to talk about the multiple choice questions. This is not the first time we do it, right? In the previous unit we try it and we learn it how to do it right okay so we've got four four questions here and you only have six minutes and you're going to read the paragraph and find out the answer for the four questions okay for you you just try your best okay six minutes go please
three minutes left. One minute left. Before that, I thought uh, you didn't you didn't remember what we've learned before. <laughs> okay, so we, what are the two what are the words which are underlined? Why do we need to underline the words? Yes, they are keywords. They are keywords, right? Mm -hmm. They can help us to find out the answer more quickly, yes. right? Okay, very good. So, do you underline keywords for the questions? No. Okay. Now it's your time to underline your keywords. One, two, three, four.
Alright, very quickly, compare your answers with your partners. Are you the same? Okay, so for number two, which words? Here? Writer. Writer, okay, and second paragraph. Second paragraph. Construction of the construction. construction. Very good, okay. Do we need to underline the options? These are the options. You can if you want. Uh, if you want, but we don't have to, right? We don't have to now at this moment, okay? What about number three? Main purpose. Main purpose. And the writers. Why? It's not about the architects, right? It's about the writers. And the third paragraph. Very good. And number four? Number four. Architect. Architect. Dream. Dream. Very good. And fourth. Fourth paragraph. Okay. Very good. Now let's check the answer. Okay. So now what's the next step? What's the next step? Underline in the paragraph from the answer. From the answer, so quickly, we need to number the paragraph, right? Which can help us do it more quickly, right? Okay, now please number your paragraph. Write down one, two, three, four for each paragraph. Two, three, four. four. Okay, so and then, so we're going to go back to the article to find out the answer. Or do we need to do more things? You need to scan the answers and go to the paragraph. Okay. Yes. Okay. So maybe we need to predict some paraphrasings. Paraphrases. So meaning paraphrasing. <coughs> some words which have the same meaning. Yes, okay. Probably. Okay. Very good. So now. Uh, you are going to you are going to have three minutes to do the second reading to confirm your answers. Okay, here D A C C. This time, check your answer again. Okay. If you finish, just raise your hand and let me know. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's compare answers again. But this time, let's exchange some partners. And you two, and you two, yeah. you two, okay. yeah. You and Jason and Mark. You and Carl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> share your opinions. Speak. Huh? Yes. 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 Do you the same answer, sorry? Yes. yes, D, okay. Now let's check the answer. Yes, you are correct. Okay, very good. So, now, I, I saw some of you go back to the article to underline the answer, right? Yes. Okay, you already do that, but we've got one more, one more thing to do. Okay, please, you are going to find out the paraphrasing for each question. For example, this one is D, right? The first one is D. Let's look at the first question. Sorry, here. People do not realize its importance, right? Okay, let's read the sentence all together. People, the people, the people did not realize its importance. Okay, now let's go back to the paragraph one. Which, which sentence? 
is the answer? Which uh, sentence? No, no one is really aware of the significance of this unusual beauty. Very good, the last one, right? No one was really aware of the significance of this unusual building. So, please tell me, which words have is paraphrasing here? Significance. Significance, okay? So, it's the same as, which one? Importance. Good, importance, okay? And what about the others? Any other words? Mm. Any other words? Oh, bear. Okay. Perfect is in the red line. Very right. good. Okay, so realize. And be careful, this one is all together. Be a rare of. Okay, you are going to remember them all together, okay? Be aware of. So this is what we call paraphrasing, okay? So now you are going to find out the paraphrasing for each option, okay? Go out. You have four minutes to finish it. Let's move to number two. B A C C A. There was a hard to complete it. Find out the paraphrasing for this sentence. And C. So why some people's opinions quickly altered? And four, so allow visitors to use it freely <coughs> by other paraphrasing, okay? Three, two, one, okay, compare answer is a good place. Before the other. Visitors purpose to users. 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 Okay. Now number two. There was a hurry to complete it. Which word? Uh, oh, complete. Purpose complete. finish. Okay, finish. Any any other word? Hurry to uh, hurry. Last, minute, last minute. Yeah, very good last minute. Okay, 
on the form? Visitors to users. Visitors to users. Where is it? Where is the answer? Uh, the fourth paragraph and the uh, and, uh, first sentence. sentence. Okay, and any other? Any other word? Freely to not limit. Very good. Freely to not limit. Okay, very good. So now we know some information about the Tom PG Center, right? Okay, so now for these two questions, okay, discuss with your partner. So what do you think about the building right now? So do you change your mind? Do you like it? Or you still don't like it, okay? Talk to your partner, okay? You too and you too, please. Uh, yeah. Very short discussion. I still like it. You too and you too. I still don't like it. Because it's not about his history. I, do, I just care about his shape and the appearance. So whatever the architecture did, it was uh, really historical <laughs> and really nice grateful, but still, still like it. If only talk about the building, I still don't like it. But I really like their history. Okay, very good. So, okay, so let's say, Carl, you still like it? No. And why? Yes. Uh, it's very it's like special. It has okay. special shape, special mm -hmm. um, stairs, and special history, and yeah. It's the design is also yeah, modern, design, right? Yeah. Okay, lovely. Okay, so now let's go back to go through all the procedures of completing multiple sentence, uh, multiple choices. So the first one we need to what? Underline the keywords, right? The second one, locate, locate the questions in the article. We need to number the para paragraphs, right? Okay, number three, we read the options carefully and look for the paraphrasing for keywords. This time is for what? Options. If we can't find the paraphrasing for the options, maybe it's not the answer we need, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the last one. You need to choose the correct answer. Okay, can you? Now, this is a very, very short revision. Okay, now please make your notes, okay? Do it very quickly. Ooh. Focus on the red words, okay? It's the last unit, so it's just one type of the reading questions here, right? So we have more different other types of reading questions. Do you think the procedures can be used for other types of reading questions? Of course. Yes, okay, very good. So are they the same or they will change a little bit? A little bit. Change a little bit, okay, very good. So for other types of questions, we are going to predict the paraphrasing before we locate the questions, right? Okay, very good. Now let's try it again. And this time, uh, turn, to, turn to page 100 on your handout. Read the questions and do the correct procedures, okay? Right now, you have two minutes. 